Can I switch? Can I switch to mid? No, I can't. You can't switch to mid. Anyways, so this is uh, this is my 10 gallon setup for now. I want to start small, and I'm gonna whatever I buy is usually gonna probably be for the 40 gallon instead of just a 10 gallon. But I want this to be my start of my solar tank. Hey guys, this is Just Moses here again, and today is December 7th, 2019. And what that means is, I don't know if you can see this, see it flashing. I'm trying to get something really cool. But today is the birthday, or the other words, one year anniversary of my 40 gallon breeder reef tank. So, today's episode will be pretty fun because it's going to show you all my, my trials and tribulations, like I said in the previous uh, video. From start to finish, um, I have been posting some updates on my channel here lately, um, and I actually intended on starting my YouTube channel when I started this tank, but it didn't happen that way. Uh, I just kind of fell behind on it, but I did document a lot of stuff, so I put together this montage. So bear with me, some of it is not the greatest content, but it shows you exactly where I've come from and my progress on the tank. And um, so, Here's my montage. It's probably going to be long. This thing is powerful, it's quiet. Uh, as you see, it moves a lot of water. Um, and the fan here is going to really be really efficient for it. Especially my tank, I'm running for a 40 gallon uh, breeder tank. It's a 10 gallon um, low flow tank, which hopefully works well. I don't know yet, uh, we're going to see if that works. But as you can see, I'm going to turn it up again. Maybe it's a little better now. I've moved it. Yeah, you can see how far this thing is. Look, I'm, I'm still, ha this is halfway. And it's it's literally four feet high. So it'll definitely reach the top of my shower as I ramp it up. And now I'm starting to get water outside of my, my, my tub again. So I'm gonna go ahead and ramp this down. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you guys an example. Uh, I know I, I told you guys I'd show you a demonstration and uh, this is my shitty demonstration, but it was cool. This is my setup right now. Um, it, it's come together really nicely. Uh, I have some things I don't like about it, but I don't need to share it with everybody <laughs> because 
if they don't know, they'll never know. So, um, but I started with a 40 gallon breeder. I, I went to Petco one day and it was, uh, it was on sale for 50 bucks. Uh, so I went ahead and bought it. The first thing I did was I just had motivation. I was just like, I don't want this trim on the top of my tank anymore. So I went ahead and, and I ripped that off. And, and then I, 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 I wasn't sure how well it would hold up without that top brace on there. Um, you know, some people say the trim helps with the, the bracing and, and holding the tank and stuff like that. So I went ahead and I did some research and I found your bracing was really neat. Um, there was several different ways to do your bracing. Um, I was originally going to have like a, a piece of glass cut out with like two holes in it. You know, so just to, so I'd have room to get in there, but it was a nice brace. Um, but I got to the point where that's just too much work and, and it just closes off the top of the tank too much. So, and it makes it hard for me to get lighting in here. So I eventually just went with the two strips. I went, I went to a local glass making place and, and they went ahead and uh, they made some nice, uh, I, I, and this is the tip of uh, this. These are my first pieces and I, you know, I'm not the best at siliconing, but it's no better than what the factory did. I mean, no worse. Um, but this is my small tip. If you're going to Euro brace, make sure you get the same thickness as the tank originally is. Um, I got some thinner stuff. Yes, it could work, and it does work at first. Um, I was just like, you know what? I don't know why I got this cheap stuff. I only paid two dollars for it at Lowe's, but so then I went ahead and, and I went to my the gla local glass company, and I got some legit pieces, and I paid twenty bucks for it. I literally paid for. My price for the the euro bracing was half the price, almost half the price of the tank, but I think it's worth it. Um, in the end, it's still under seventy dollars for all of it. And then, and then I went ahead and uh, I did some research. I didn't want my equipment in my saltwater tanks, so I went ahead and was, I saw these overflow boxes, which is really neat. And um, and I got into the sump theory. You know, you could you have a sump underneath of your of your cabinet. And uh, you can hide away all your equipment underneath in a, in a smaller tank, you know, aka smaller tank. Uh, and all your equipment is hidden. And, all, and, and to do that, you have to have an overflow box and you have to have a return. I have a final overflow box I really liked. And I, and I got the eShops um, overflow box. It's pretty, it's pretty hidden. Uh, now these white dots are, are small screws. Um, I didn't like how, how low... This was these slots. So I put this in here just in case I wanted to raise the water level. Uh, I put it, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you can you can somewhat see it here, just a line here. Um, I put a piece of plexiglass with some, some screws in it. That way if I wanted to raise or lower my water level, I could. Uh, so that was kind of a customized thing I did there. Uh, I wish I had some black ones instead of the white, but you know, in due time, maybe I can find some black ones that I like. Um, so then you really have to, you have to cut a hole in the back of your tank. You gotta make sure you don't have uh, tempered glass. Um, but I got the eShop, so it's really well built. Um, I, I really like it. Uh, it's probably the, one of the best ones I've seen out there. Uh, went to Lowe's, uh, the two by fours are literally like 20 bucks. And I think the outskirting, I might've paid I don't know, 50 bucks on it. So it's pretty cheap to build. I might have might have broke about 80 bucks on the whole thing altogether. Um, granted, he had the stain, and I had these rubber pieces randomly laying around, so they were good for the the stoppers. So so yeah, and and I put in the uh, a nice bottom to it. Uh, it's flush with the bottom of the. Uh, I can't really show you, but it's flush with the bottom of the 2x4. It doesn't really stick down past the 2x4, so that's pretty cool. So that, I finished that up today. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much all I've done. Uh, I did paint the back of my, my tank too. I just used some black satin spray paint. I spray painted it just to give it that nice look from the, from the front so you don't see anything behind it. So it should have that real nice clean look.
of what my table looks like at the moment it is a little a little bit of algae on it. Um, I recently put on a sump, um, which is I'm about to show you. I've been working on this diligently today, so it's not perfect, it's not great, uh, but it is a step in the right direction. So, as you see, the light automatically turns on, and I got my controller from my my pump here for my return pump. So this is my setup so far. Uh, I originally wanted uh, two walls here and two walls here. It's hard to see. Uh, apparently I did a really bad job my silicone. Uh, so this one failed. Uh, I ended up just having this one on the side and foaming it. And using the rest of this for just my, my space for putting whatever I want to help with the, the bio load. As you see I have dry rock in here. And uh, I also put foam in on this side to help filter out uh, what comes in on this. Uh, this is my skimmer. I put it on the hang on the back skimmer because I really don't have a lot of room to put a skimmer in here. So this is this is my first go at a skimmer. So so far so good. It's doing it's doing its job. It's a little little yellowish here. It looks like uh, you can't really see it because it's, it's actually a very white light, but it's showing very yellow on the camera. Um, I'll put it in an overflow just so it overflows here. If, it, if I do forget it one or two days, it's okay. It just flows in here. I mounted my my light uh, controller and uh, for the Wave Maker controller. I'm currently using the Current USA um, package. So this is pretty cool. This is this is what I got from all so far. So I'm gonna take a couple of pictures as I go on here. And uh, as I said, I put in this, uh, this auto light, which is probably one of the coolest features I put in here. Uh, you could charge it off of a regular phone charger, uh, just to charge it up whenever you want to. Update video. Uh, I've added in a hammer, as you can see. Um, and I've, I want to kind of make this. Uh, you can see the coloration of the, of the rock is kind of neat. Um, established rock versus the uh, brand new rock. But um, this is going to be my uh, you uh, uh island. But um, so things going pretty good. Uh, I do have some issues, as you see. Uh, there's a lot of debris floating around. It's very cloudy. Um, so I'm, I'm redoing, uh, my sump, uh, this is my current sump I have now, and you can see it, it's just, it's falling apart. I cut out some, uh, some sponges, uh, this is supposed to go over top, so, as you see, I've, I've put a slit in it, uh, it comes over top of here and into here, so this makes it to where I'm assuring that it goes through this sponge, um, hits this, uh, so this is going to be, like, my my carbon area so my carbon bag area which I showed earlier uh, I got another sponge down below which should be is pretty easy to access I can just stick my hand down in and, and grab it out it's pretty easy um, but then I did the same thing here with with the, the slits uh, I made these slits to make sure to assure that it uh, that it, it flows through the uh, the sponge appropriately to make sure I filter out as much as cr much crap as I can, you know.
Wow, guys, that was a ton of content, but from April on, I have uh, vlogged everything in my channel. So if you're curious, check out my previous videos and you'll see the progress from here on out. Otherwise, this video would have been way too long and everybody would have stuck around this long. And if you have stuck around this long to this point, I really appreciate it. And I hope you liked it as much as I have enjoyed um, making the video. So um, I'm going to leave this on a little bit of a montage on the, the last bit of what my tank looks like today. So um, enjoy, guys. And thanks for checking me out. And if you really like the videos that I'm putting out and want, want to see more, just hit the subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up, guys. Appreciate it. Peace. So guys, thank you for checking out my channel. As always, I am Jess Moses. Feel free to click on the little circle. That has my stupid face on it. Uh, subscribe to me if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see some of my previous videos, I will give one description of the previous video before this one. And if you see a second video, it's because there's another video after this video. So thank you for checking me out. As always, free fun.